Now that we have successfully linked our GitHub account to Visual Studio, uh, one of the good things that's, that happens is that once you have uh, your project open in uh, Visual Studio Code, you have a directory structure on the side that allows you to control your folders, your files, uh, and where they are, and uh, how you move them around. So far, we've managed to download the files that we created inside of GitHub down to our folder. And as I said in a previous video, you can click on the files, move around, and, uh, and see what's, what the content is. Uh, the other thing that we can do is, is that as soon as you click on an HTML file, for example, and even on the MD, any, any text file really, uh, you are able to edit them. So this is where I have an assignment one, assignment two, three, and four, but I can uh, change this. Uh, so far, I know that we don't have four assignments uh, done so far, and really we're on the third week here. So um, let's see how I can change this just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of assignment four and delete it and just delete the text. Uh, as soon as that happens, uh, the uh, the uh, folder up here, the Explorer, tells me that there's one unsaved file. I have made changes to the file, but they are still not saved. I can tell it to file and save, and that then will just save it onto my folder uh, where it's uh, stored in my computer. At the same time, I get the source control icon lighting up saying that there is a pending change. That is, it knows that this file came from GitHub, but it has not been changed there. It has, it has not been saved. It uh, recognizes that things are happening, but they're not in sync. So let's click on this. I'm going to click on the number one here, where it tells me that there's changes. And I see now that I have a source control git that's saying, you know, hey, let's access the git command and move, move this stuff around or do something with it. It's asking me to uh, type in a message. Whenever I commit in GitHub, I need to give it a message, be it I made a change in the file, uh, or I deleted something, or whatever you want programmers or yourself to, to know about this file at this stage. I'm going to type in a quick message by saying um, uh, saving to GitHub. And you can type whatever the message you want is and press enter to accept, or rather, I'll click on the check mark to commit. So there are no stage changes to commit. Would you like to uh, automatically stage all your changes and commit them directly? And I'm going to say yes, always, actually, so that I don't have to think about it too much. So basically, now this file has been saved, and it's got a commit uh, message attached to it. Uh, at the same time, I get uh, some new things uh, shown to me. I get some, uh, some structure details about the file. It's an HTML file. It's got a body, and it's got an unordered list and list items. And it gives me, basically, a little bit of an outline of what's going on with the file. Now that I have saved these changes, and uh, committed to them, I can tell it to save uh, to GitHub. At the bottom, I see a little bit about uh, a little bit more information about this file. It's in the master uh, section of the GitHub, and I have a couple of arrows here that tell me, you know, that I can synchronize the changes. So if I click there, it tells me that now I can push and pull commits to and from Origin Master. Since I had not made any changes in the GitHub site itself, I assume that the files up there are identical to what they were prior to make the changes. So nothing has been saved up in the server, but it has been changed in my computer. Let me go back and uh, look at my files up in the server. Let's see if I can see it right there. So I have my uh, ITSC 401 page on GitHub, which still has four assignments, not the changes that I committed just now. And my GitHub account still tells me that my initial commits are still the same, and they haven't been changed in quite some time. So if I go back then to Visual Studio Code and tell it, uh, OK, well, push and pull. When you push something, you're pushing it up to the server. If there were any changes in GitHub, I could tell it to pull and download onto, onto the files in my local computer. So I see that action is happening. Things are getting pushed to the server. Uh, it's going to ask me once again to log in. I don't think that I had logged in previously here. So I'm going to use my uh, 
uh, GitHub information. I think I'm ITSE 1401, and my password is my password. And I press enter to accept. Things are moving, getting pushed, and and then that's it. Uh, the pushing action is done. The changes here remain. If I go back now, it's uh, let me go to the right browser. Uh, I need to go to my Firefox, this window here. And this still looks the same because I need to reload, and I'll do that just now. I'll reload it, and assignment one, two, and three, that's what's showing up now. Assignment four has been deleted because I deleted that code. If I view the page source, I see the HTML very much the same as I had in my uh, Visual Studio code. Meanwhile, my uh, files in itsc1401.github.io in my uh, repository, if I reload them, I'll see that there was a commit just now that I named saving to GitHub that uh, took place about four minutes ago. And if I were to click on that file, I could then see that uh, the code has been changed and it has been updated. And what's really cool about this is that if I were to make changes inside of GitHub at this point, let's say that uh, I go to the edit button, the edit this file, that little pencil, and I were to then copy the same thing that I deleted. 912 is a list item. I'll highlight it, copy it, and then after that last bracket, I'll paste it. I'll uh, clean up the space a little bit so and change this to the number four assignment four exists again in this code I'll tell it to commit the changes in github it will automatically grade out a comment and what it thinks that you want to do I updated the index.html file that's correct that's all I really need to, to leave there I'll tell it to commit the changes and by doing that basically in github the file is saved so that when I go back to my site and I reload and this might not be immediate in most cases because github is not necessarily the fastest but it is a very reliable uh, server that's out there a little uh, server option uh, it just takes it a little bit to update it took it maybe what 10 15 seconds and now my assignments 1 through 4 are now showing that being said if I were to visit Visual Studio Code back in my computer Assignments 1, 2, and 3 is the last thing that I did here. And unlike making a local change, uh, another change happened up in the server. So we're going to have to go through maybe an extra step to get that back. I can do the same thing. I know that I made the change in, uh, in github.com. So I'm going to tell it to give it the same command, which is basically to push and pull commits. And now we know that we don't really have any changes here, but I'll click OK so that it does check out what's going on. It connected to the server, and that change that I just made, assignment four, is now part of my local repository. And I can change it and move it around and do all kinds of cool stuff with the code locally and send it back to the server. So uh, now that I've shown you how to create files, how the relationship between github.com and your GitHub uh, repository in Visual Studio Code sort of work, uh, we're ready to, to create a new file and uh, get work with uh, some HTML and CSS coding. I'll see you in the next video.